when you got back, did you have a hard time getting a job? No, because I played baseball for steel partition bombers. Right. And they, they always provided a, a job for you if you played ball for them. Did you try out for the team or did they recruit you? They recruited me yeah. because I, I had, in high school, I had two no-hitters in, in a row. You were a pitcher? Yes. And did I was a lot bigger and <laughs> heavier then. You were a pitcher and what, did you play any other positions? Uh, oh, they had me play outfield. I was a pretty good outfielder. I played first base. So who was the manager of the team then? Joe Nagel. Joe Nagel. Yep. And who were some of the other players on the team? Bob Bender. I saw his name in the paper. Bob Brown. Donnie Nagel. Bob Brown. Bob Brown. He was a friend of mine. We played some games down in Leaper, PA. And I was making these leaping plays for steel positions, and they called me Leaper. Leaper. <laughs> yeah. We went by train to Wichita to play in the World Series, and I pitched down there, and I was pitching against the number one team, the Fort, Fort Wayne. They were all former major leaguers and professional players, but I did a pretty good. Again, that's when I got associated with the Yankees. How did they, so they was they saw you play this uh, in Wichita and then they, a scout signed you? Yes. Uh, so what do you do, just come up and say, would you be interested in signing? Yeah, I was, uh, I was rather in awe of the Yankee team. I probably should have held out longer, but then 48 is when I played the first year with Newark, Ohio. Then the next year I played with Amsterdam in the Canadian American League. <clears throat> so you're playing with the Yankees. You sign with the same team that Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig and Joe DiMaggio. Same organization. Yeah. So, you know, you mentioned Lou Gehrig. One manager I had in 1948, they fired him and they hired Saul Mishkin, and he would have been a first baseman for the Yankees, except for one guy, <laughs> Lou Gehrig. Yeah, wow. Yep. So what do you remember about that Newark team in uh, Newark, Ohio? Yeah, the cities were about the size of Jamestown. Some of them were a little bigger. But I did pitch for Amsterdam the next year. Yes, now I think of it. Sal Mission, he, he, he was always getting kicked out of the, the Yankees fired him. That's when they hired uh, Sal Mission. He was coached at CCNY. In one game he got kicked out and I, <laughs> we, we all looked. Here he is outside the stadium standing on top of the bus. He was trying to run the team from outside the bus. <laughs> I thought that was rather humorous. but I remember one from Amsterdam, Bob Grimm, he pitched for the Yankees as a relief pitcher. Right. He had a good slider. I think he won 20 games that next year, 49. Oh, yeah, Ernie Lawrence, he was, he was from the South. Oh, yeah, Sal Sasso, he was from Jersey City or someplace. What was your out pitch? What was the pitch? Curveball? Yeah, that's what I thought, but they didn't. I pitched probably too many of them. I started getting a little arm trouble. You develop an arm trouble. Did you play baseball after 1949? Yeah, I played as an outfielder. 
I was a pretty good outfielder, really. It was Roger Dubois, did he play with you guys? He was our shortstop, the good one. He played short, Bob Brown second, Les James, first base. Third base was Warren Mee, M-E-E. -E. His brother was a pitcher for us too, Ralph Mee. Lou Brown, he was a catcher. I did develop some arm trouble, so that's when I decided to go back to Syracuse and get my degree. And then, then after that, I came to Jamestown to teach phys ed. I coached the baseball team just one year, and then I got a job teaching elementary physical education. You know, the first year I taught, I had Charles Street School, I had Euclid, and Rogers. About 15 years then, they made me a guidance counselor. How did you get into officiating? That mean, Lou Brown asked me when I got out of the service. He was a friend of mine, he was caught. And he, was, he got me in the, in the, like you say. I had to officiate alone a lot of times in those early games. Now in these, some of these games you'll see three. Football for 42 years, basketball yeah. for 38 years. Yes. So what was your favorite sport did you like to go out and officiate at? Oh, officiating? Yeah. Hell yeah, I like, I think basketball really. Then after I retired in 89, they called me up and wanted me to officiate track and field. So I, I did that for about 12 years. Well, I actually blew a play over in Chautauqua and the coach jumped off the stage down onto the court. He was a good coach. He was actually a friend of mine. They had a small gym. Okay. Chautauqua. Yeah, some of the teams had these big guys and they make a zone defense and put their arms out and they covered the whole court. Yeah, yeah. I finished a lot of playoff games. Did you? Yeah, it seems like the the man that run the playoffs at that time, he always picked Milt Lindstrom and me to, to go up to Niagara University or the University of Buffalo. And other gyms up in that area, Niagara maybe. I remember Taps Gallagher was at the Niagara game and he thought we did a very good job. I appreciated that. When he came home, we always, I always had popcorn and a beer for him. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you gave to him when he came back? Yep. <laughs> so that was your post-game entertainment, popcorn and beer. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> but I'm glad you're joining the Fall of Fame. Yeah, I am too. I, I have to use a cane now or walker, but I'm glad I'm like you say. Well, we look forward to seeing you here in February. Yep, 17th. February 17th. So, congratulations. Thank you.